Hello once more. Thanks for stopping by at 79 Hearst Old Sky again. And what I have you before you today is uh, RWS, a.k.a. Diana 5GS, not 5G, but 5GS uh, air pistol. Uh, you'll notice the Allen wrench down here below, which came with uh, this particular uh, gun. Uh, so what denotes the GS... Uh, and there's also a GN version, which is the nickel version. I was expecting this gun to ha to signify on the top of the marking, and I'll show you that in a second, uh, a GS, but it does not. It does not mark. The GN does. It's just, uh, the ones that I've seen uh, show it as a GN, so it's nickel, which you can obviously tell because the finish is not black. It's nickel or a, a silvery color. Uh, but this one really, this one caught my eye because of the box. And also, uh, I'm assuming there's an owner's manual that goes with it or some other documentation, which it didn't come with. But uh, uh, I, I, it's very, it's not common that I've seen the box. So I'll show this to you now. Uh, in the front of the gun, uh, you'll notice the serial number, which is 722 one six seven two 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 one six and then, then the caliber and i believe that's a european mark for speed of the the pellet um the finish is uh very nice I, and it has i've never fired the gun since i've owned it which isn't that long um but it does say made in west germany now with the diana guns you can take this end cap off and then find the date of manufacture. It's very small, but it says 8 of 85. So it was an August 85, uh, 1985 manufacturer. So that's pretty good. Uh, the 5G was, uh, uh, manufacturer began, the regular 5G began in 95. So I'm assuming the GS version uh, started as well. Oh, I forgot to mention, on the top you'll see Model 5. Uh, and then on the right below the model number is the G, but I was expecting a GS, but I didn't get that, so I was kind of surprised. But it does have the rail on the top for the scope, which I'll show you in a second. The GS model also doesn't have the front sight, has the barrel weight, which uh, which unscrews, and it doesn't come with the rear sight because, lo and behold, it it has it's an air pistol with a scope, so. I want to say that these, I'm guessing, they stopped production around 1995, but uh, I don't know for 100%, so if someone wants to leave a, me a comment in the mess below, that would be great. Uh, and the, what's really nice about this one is it shows the 722216, which it matches the gun, uh, and as far as the serial number goes, and it's a little bit faded, but it says MIT. Zeal for Nor, I wish I could pronounce it, but uh, uh, that's just indicating that uh, it has a scope, and it's and it's pretty faded, but it's a 5GS, so it's the model 5GS, and it's made in West Germany, and Germany itself was, I think, put uh, there, it was to, back together around 1990 or 91, so hence the... Uh, made in West Germany markings. There's not really too much on the box. I'll show you. That, that's really the only markings is the the top, which is German, English, and I believe French. And then the, the end uh, applique. Uh, the, the middle of the box, or the open middle of the box, the, uh, the open the box, and you will see the scope, which also came with the base, which I believe is a Dynawork or Diana type base. And you'll notice on the scope it says Diana Work, which is the production. Restat, which is or Rastat, Germany, which is the location of the production. Uh, again, that name, which is the scope, and then the uh, 1.5 by 15 in optic. And I wish I could pronounce the last, but I, but I can't. Why? Oh, would butcher it, I'm sure. So I, this, you can make your own. The, this barrel uh, weight is also, uh, you can buy it separately. You can buy the scope 
separately and then attach them to the gun but i'm not sure how unless you have the box or some other documentation uh that you would prove that it was actually uh, a gs model uh this as i said i i have it does hold air uh it is a brake barrel uh it is a rifle barrel and they came in 177 which this is a caliber wise or a 22 caliber um but uh, I've not seen too many of those, I guess. Um, then it says made in West Germany on this side and German something on the other side, which uh, the smarter of, smarter of you might be able to tell. It is uh, plastic grips uh, that are... Uh, it, it feels very comfortable in the hand, and there's a lot of uh, uh, weight to it or so. Uh, it, its overall length is about 16 and a half inches or so and it, it like I said the GS model um, was equipped with this and the barrel weight so that's the way and also the the rail to mount the, the scope which is uh, uh, how you can determine it but uh, I don't I don't know how you determine otherwise on the gun itself since it's only marked a G it, it's not a GS like the the nickel plated version it, so anyway, I thank you for stopping by and taking a look at this gun. Uh, I'm uh, quite ha pleased to have it, be able to pick it up and then show it to you. And I'm really thankful that you stopped by. So remember, you're, you're not, you're not uh, an owner of the firearm or the gun. Uh, I think of everything as a firearm. It's, not, it's technically not a firearm, but you're, you are a caretaker of that particular gun. Thank you so much.